Hello, students. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hello. Sure. Hi, how are you? How are you today? No, 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 no. Well, so welcome to everyone. It's a great pleasure to be here with all of you, ready to learn English and also maximize our, our skills. So it's a great pleasure. And um, especially this, this, this day that we can say that we start the, the, um, the week and uh, that's very valuable. So welcome to everyone. And we hope to learn a lot and also try to have fun because that's important, especially when we're studying English. That's uh, something that we had to, we had to do, do our best. That's what we uh, try to get. So welcome everyone. And uh, there are some students joining right now to our class. And at the same time, having a like kind of feedback and um, of the activities, right? Having a feedback of the, the topics that we are studying and we are like going, going and concentrated in, in, in the topics. Perhaps we have some doubts related to some topics. You can ask questions about it, but also you have the opportunity uh, to, to practice and uh, be free to talk. And that's one of the goals, right? So let's begin. Before that we start the class, I always ask about what we have learned, what we have studied. And my question is, um, what we studied in the last class? Who wants to break the ice and tell me, teacher, in the last class, we talk about this topic and we talk about this. So who wants to help me with this information? A volunteer who wants to, um, you know, uh, tell us what we started in the last class. Teacher, what do you like and like and not like? Aha, uh -huh. sounds great. Yes. What else? What What else we we could like socialize? Yes. Hello. Yes, yes. Someone else remembered what we started the topic. No one else. About object pronouns. Okay, object pronouns. Yeah. Also, there was another topic. Yes. Okay, so as we were saying in the last class, we were discussing a little bit about the use of would for invitation, especially when we ask someone uh, to go out or when we invite a person to do something like, you know, would you like to go to the movies? Yes, I would. Or yes, I would, but, but I have to study for exams. Oh, would you like to, uh, to play video games with me? Yes, I love to. Oh, I would like to. Would you like to uh, travel to Mexico with me on vacations? Yeah, I would like to, but um, I'm out of money. So uh, there are some like circumstances in which we can do that. Okay. We're going to uh, ask some questions and you can answer in a positive or a negative way. So I'm gonna give you, well, as, as a practice, and uh, you will answer in a positive way. We're gonna try. I will ask you a, a questions to hang out or to do something, and you have to answer. I would like. I would like to. Just I like to. That's okay. But you have to answer in a positive way, right? That is gonna be the strategy for this class today. Entonces yo le pregunto y usted me contesta de forma afirmativa. Okay, we'll start. Hey, hey, would you like to go to the party with me tonight? Yes, I would like. Okay. Someone else? Yes, I would like. 
I would love to. I like it. Perfect. Let's do it. Okay, another another examples. Would you like to go to the movies with me? Yes. Would you like to go to the movies with me? Yeah. Yes, I would like. Okay. And now you will answer in a negative way. I would like, to, okay. And now you have to answer in a negative way. You thanks, but you make an excuse like, I would like to, but I am working until 6 p.m. So I can't go. Okay, so the next sentence. Hey, would you like to go and play soccer with me today? I would like, but I'm tired. Okay, don't worry. Next time. Next, would you like to um, get some food at the restaurant today? I would like, but I have a class. I have a class with the teacher William. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. All right, so that's good. Hey, you know what? And there is a, a, an activity in my community and I don't know if you would like to go with us uh, to this activity. I would like what um busy today. That's fantastic. You know, you can appreciate that one. So that, that's, we can say that you understood the, the use of wood for in, invitations, especially when we are like talking about, uh, you know, a formal invitation. In El Salvador, people have some special invitations in, in a formal way. When we use wood, wood is very formal. Definitely that wood is very formal when we are like, you know, inviting someone to go out. My question is, would you use the formal English or informal English to invite someone to do something? Do you invite people in a formal or in an informal way? Oh, do you understand it? Generally, sorry. Generally, in informal way. Yeah, I agree with you. Sometimes it's like, "Hey, let's go, let's go to the party," instead of "I'm sorry, would you like to go?" Instead of saying, "Would you like to go to the party with me?" Hey, let's go to the party. Hey, let's go to eat something. Hey, would you like to go and eat something with us? I mean, people use informal informal ways to invite a person. And at another opinion, would you invite people in a formal way or in an informal way? Informal. Sí, de la manera informal, siento de que estamos como que hasta tomando la decisión por el otro. Yeah, yeah, because you're not, like, yeah. you're, not you're not asking, you're yeah. asking, like, yeah. It's not, the most no. common is informal. Yeah, porque formal, it's ask and don't ask, nosotros no preguntamos. Ajá, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, in a formal way, we ask. In an informal, mm -hmm. we just say, do it. We just say it. Mm -hmm. We do it. Hey, vámonos a la fiesta. Hey, vamos al parque. So we ask, we confirm. But the question is, would you like? Because would is very formal to ask questions when we are inviting a person to do something. Uh, that's, that's something the way. But that depends. Yep. 
uh, how is a uh, informal way to invite uh, another person? What is for a formal way? And what is a informal way to do this? Informally similar to Spanish, because you say, hey, let's go to the party. Hey, let's get some food. Hey, go to the go to the mall with my friends. Oh, hey, play, let's play video games. So we are using like, I mean, no requesting uh, expressions. We are like, hey, affirmative statements. Hey, let's go to the party. We use an affirmative sentence because it's very informal. And uh, in a formal way, as wonderful classmate said, okay. one, of her, one of their classmates said, and um, they say, hey, would you like? So we ask in that informal, we confirm, <laughs> but that's not a way. Okay, so I think that most of you have understood this topic and, and that is very great because we had to continue using uh, formal expressions in English because we can learn a lot about it. So let's introduce the next, uh, the next class. And also we are going to uh, start with our presentation. I have a question. Do you check, um, do you check the, the presentation that I sent to you by uh, what's up? Do you check the, the presentation? Yes, I do. Yes, right? Okay, that's the one that I'm presenting. That's that's nice. That's nice. Okay, today we're going to talk about the following topic. Let's see. Tell me about your family. That's the next uh, video conference. And we're talking about tell me about your family. And also, in, um, we're going to talk about this one. One second. And uh, likes and dislikes. Write and answers these questions about entertainment. So we can just like have this one. Uh, when they usually watch TV. And in my case, um, I watch TV at night or during the during the afternoon or in what moment. The second one is what kinds of programs do you like? I like comedy shows. I like sports like soccer. I like, you know, uh, music, uh, videos, concerts, etc. Do you like um, reality shows? Yes, I like reality shows because you and you have fun and you entertain with your friends and there are crazy and funny things you can see. And um, do you listen to the radio? Sometimes I prefer watching TV. Well, in my case, I prefer watching TV that listen uh, to the radio. It is not so common for me to listen to the radio. And who is your favorite singer? Um, what do you think of salsa? What is your favorite movie? And what kind of movies do you dislike? And do you like science fiction? So those questions, I want you to um, try to give an answer according to your personal likes. And, um, and also we will have a short time to work in breakup rooms. In the breakup rooms, you will share these questions with your partners and you will give your point of view. That's what we had to do. So I will give you right now a couple of minutes to read the questions and answer according to your likes and dislikes. It's that okay? It's okay, teacher. All right, let's do it. Don't forget that if you have a question or doubt, you have the freedom to ask questions.
Okay, in a, in a couple of minutes, we will work in breakout rooms and you will share your answers with your partners. And um, there are different things that perhaps we like in, um, in uh, some things we dislike, especially when we're talking about entertainment. We're talking about music, we're talking about sports, we're talking about series, we're talking about cartoons, we're talking about comedy, different topics that maybe attract our attention. Any questions or doubts? Uh, do you have a questions or is everything clear for the moment? Almost, almost ready. Um, there are some places that it's it, it's raining. Uh, that's what I understand. 
some areas here in the central uh, part, especially here in the capital, in some other like departments also, it, it is raining. Mm, that's that's understandable. That could affect the, uh, you know, the Wi-Fi or the internet could be affected, but we're gonna try to, you know, and I'll practice actively in the class. Okay, so let's continue. And right now, let's get ready with this. We're going to work in teams and you're going to practice with them. We're going to work with a small groups of four members, three, four members, yes. And what you have to do is to connect with your groups, activate the microphone and start asking and responding the questions in teams. So we have five minutes to work with this and we can do it. Let's go. Tú y yo podemos responder una vez cada uno para que nos confundamos y así sucesivamente. Ah, va. Es entonces que pregunte y respondemos los dos. Ajá. Y de ahí con la siguiente pregunta sería, ¿verdad? Ok, Ajá. así. Ah, va, va. Okay. Está bien, entonces. Está bien. Está bien. Ok. When do you usually watch TV? Um, only weekends. Um, I usually watch TV only before the class or after the class. Okay. Siguiente pregunta. What kinds of... Uh -huh. okay. Siga preguntando uh, okay. What kinds of programs do you like? Uh, I like the music video. I like uh, soccer programs and and movies. Okay, I I can uh, answer. También. Oh, Ahora las preguntas usted y después ah. las hago yo y así una vez cada. Ajá, así se, okay. pienso que sería este. Ajá. O después puedo, sí. después puedo preguntarla yo y practica con ustedes. Correcto. Correcto. Ok. Do you like reality shows? I don't like reality shows. I don't like uh, reality shows because I, I think they are false. Ok. Do you listen to the radio? Yes, I like listening to the radio. I hardly ever listen to the radio. Who is your favorite singer? My favorite singer is Adele and Bruno Mars. 
My favorite singer is, I don't know, Gustavo Cerati. Oh. What do you think of salsa? I love salsa. For me, it's a, it's a little bit boring. Okay. What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is uh, The Fast and Furious 10. And for me, it's Fast and Furious 2, but the first one. Yes. Okay. What is your favorite? No, sorry. What kind of movies do you dislike? Oh, the horror. I and don't for like. Me, for me, I don't like the romantic movies. Do you like science fiction? Um, so so. I like it a little. Yes, I like science fiction. I I love the the, the genre. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Pregunto yo? Sí. Okay. When do you usually watch TV? Uh, actually, I don't see nothing in TV. Okay. What yeah. kinds? <laughs> okay. What <laughs> kinds of programs do you like? Uh, um, Sorry, what? Uh, I think I don't see too much nothing because I don't have time. But um, maybe programs actually I don't know series in Netflix, but I don't remember the names. Okay. <laughs> do you do you like reality shows? No, I don't like. Okay. Do you listen to the radio? Yeah, I listen every day because I drive and I listen to the radio. I like the music. Okay. Who is your favorite singer? My favorite singer is Alex Ovalo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think of salsa? I like salsa because it's a instrument. It's very, I don't know, say, um, happy and very like a high like. Okay. What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie, um, I like the only the Nicholas Spar, the movies. Oh. Yeah. Okay. What kind of movie do you like? Horror, horror movies and the crimes sometimes I don't like. Okay. Do you like science fiction? Yeah, I like. Okay. Teacher. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa palabra kind? Kind. Ah, in English is kind. Kind. Yes. Kind. 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 Like okay. similar to say types or tipos in Spanish. Okay. Yes. Okay. Excellent. I, I saw you uh, practicing. That was good. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. This is one of the ways because we can also practice. And when we speak, when we produce the language, we have confidence. And the confidence is gotten by the practice. So you are like, you know, I don't know if I will make a mistake or if I'm doing good or wrong. So you can also try it uh, because it's important. So that is one of the recommendations. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. You finished or not yet? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ready. Oh, not ready. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Continue, continue. Yes. Okay. 
what kind of movie do you dislike? In my case, Korean movies. I don't like Korean movies. In series, programs, nothing, nothing. <laughs> I don't like scary songs. Okay. Y ahí eh, va la otra que es Do you Do you Do you Like Ciencia ficción Si nos gustan las películas de ciencia ficción eh. sí. I don't I don't, no, I don't like eh, ciencia ficción en my case creo que así se dice no sé que decir no me gustan las películas de ciencia ficción I don't like I don't like science fiction Okay, finish, teacher. Finish. Okay, perfect. We are going to go back to the main section. Um, well, let me tell you that here is, is like raining, so it's good. I love the rain. Okay, congratulations because of the practice. And this is good when you practice the vocabulary and expressions and you go step by step uh, learning. So it's a good, good recommendation to uh, continue working and uh, learning new vocabulary and expressions. So let's go back to the main session and we're going to and uh, continue practicing with the information we have right here, okay? So one moment, meanwhile, we go, we move on to the next part. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, sir. Thanks a lot. Yes. We'll go with it. Okay, uh, congratulations for the work done. I saw that most of you practicing with the questions and that is something that we had to do, to come here and practice because we can study vocabulary, we can uh, write sentences, we can read complete exercises, but the communication and practice with partners, it's very important. Also, don't forget to have the camera on because it's important. Remember that is something that we always say that we have to have the camera on and also practice because it's important. All right, so do you see the presentation in my screen? Do you see the presentation? Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. I think. 
excellent. Look at this one, it's speaking. What an excuse. Make up three invitations to interesting activities and write them on cards. Well, in that case, in your notebook or somewhat else. Three invitations. You will make three invitations like, you know what? There is going to be a very important exhibit about um, the cultures of El Salvador. Would you like to go with me? So you give an introduction about the, the invitation and then you invite. That's what you had to do. Well, today is going to be the last game of the season. And I was thinking if you would like to go with me to this one. So you give an introduction. And also in, at 2 p.m., there is going to be a very interesting uh, party. It's a graduation party. It, it will be great. My question is, would you like to go with me to the party? So you have to think about three invitations, like the ones we have here on the screen. I want to see the frog races tomorrow. There are at the park at two. Would you like to go with me? So you can see you saw first the introduction about the activity and later the question using would. And then look at this one, right? Three responses cards, one on a sentence card and two are refusals. But in that case, the methodology will be this one. You will write three questions and you will uh, give this invitation to your classmates in the breakout rooms. Your classmates have to accept or refuse the invitation as a practice. So I will give you a couple of minutes right now to think about the, the invitation and the possible answer. That's what we had to do. Uh, you will use your creativity to accept or refuse the invitation. So. I want you right now to think about three uh, invitations to interesting activities. Is that uh, clear? Yes, no? Uh, yes. Okay, perfect. So I will give you this moment to think about it and then we will socialize. And also your invitations and also the answers. Let's do it. Okay, but uh, Jorge, think about the introduction. Like, and um, we will have a meeting with our with my family, and we were thinking about celebrating birthdays and having a special dinner. The question is, would you like to come to dinner on Friday night? So you give like an introduction about the event, and then you ask the question.
Okay, when you have the three questions, we will go back to the breakup rooms in a briefly way. You will ask the question to your partners and also your partners will give you in a creative way an answer, accepting or refusing. That is going to be the strategy. And let me tell you that if you listen, um, if you listen uh, noise, it's because here in my neighborhood it's raining. So it's a surprise that it is raining because we have, you know, been with our rain for some time, but that's okay because it refreshes the environment. Teacher, I have a question. Yep. What the different you ask, do you like to go or would you like to go? Uh, do you like is, is, is to know if you like something. Do you like pupusas? Yes, I like. But when you say would, is like something that you want to do with the other person, like te gustaría. That is would you like. And do you like is te gusta. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, almost ready or not yet? Hello? Not yet. Not, yet. not yet. Okay, perfect. So let's take some time. Okay.
Okay, almost ready? Hello? Hello, no, yes. No, yet. Okay, we'll take advantage to check the attendance list. Well, um, I will be calling your names and you say present. Okay. Okay, Ana Isela Janes. Present. Thank you. Ana Ruth Perez. Ana Ruth Perez. Ana Ruth Perez. Eh, Carlos. Eh, Carlos. ¿Ah? No, es tuya. Carlos Ernesto Flores is not here. Eh, David Alejandro Rodríguez. Here. David Rafael Ramos. Present. Diana Beatriz Reyes. Diana Beatriz Reyes. She's not. Eh, Diana Cristabel Meléndez. Diana, she's not. Eric Javier Ventura. Eric Javier Ventura. He's not too. Fiorella Alejandra Crispin. Present. Thanks. Eh, Gerardo Jose Tepas. I'm here. Thanks. Henry Alejandro Flores. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Ingrid Magdalena Castellanos. Present. Present. Jorge Francisco Lopez. Present teacher. Okay. Juana Margarita Sea. Juana. She's not. She's not here. Catherine Suleima Poca Sangre. Present. Thank you. Uh, Catherine Nicole Salazar. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Kathy Jordana Dos Cruces. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Laura Lisset Peña. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Lorena Araceli Hernandez. Lorena. Present. Teacher. Okay. And uh, Oscar Otoniel Cruz. Present. Teacher. Uh, who? What? Oscar. Present. Okay. okay. And Reina Jael Arevalo. Reina? Is Reina here or not? She's not. Okay. Roberto Carlos Alfaro. Present. Sebastiana Guadalupe Aguilar. Present teacher. Thanks. Teacher, a mí no me pasó lista. What is your name? English? Mirna Yasmin Portillo. I'm sorry? What is your name? Mirna Yasmin Portillo. Mirna Yasmin Portillo. Uh, let me check. Yes, I have it here. Yes. Yes. Uh, Tatiana uh, Abigail Rodriguez. Tatiana? 
She's not here. Uh, Ursula Adriana Burgos. Ursula, she's not here. Uh, Wendy Lisette Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Okay, so let's go back to the breakup rooms. I will give you a couple of minutes and with the person you will um, socialize the questions and also, well, the, the invitations and the possible answer. So let's go to the groups. You have uh, three minutes to share your answers. We're going to make groups smaller so you can also work fast to students. Let's go. No, I don't like the movie horror. And and I like the movies and romantic. Okay. Mm, ahora si quiere me pregunta usted. Okay. Do you want to eat Chinese food? Okay. Um, I do love to, but I have to visit my grandfather in the nursing home. And I don't like Chinese food. Okay. Uh, maybe... Uh, the next week. Yes. Okay. Okay. Our <laughs> catering. No, se salió. Sí, se salió. Ay, teacher. Entonces haga la otra pregunta. Vaya. Entonces ahora quiero ver. Ah, pues le voy a hacer la otra pregunta. Ajá. I want to go to the gym next week. Would you like to join me? Yes, I like it. Okay. Okay. Right. Next question, me. Bye. <laughs> Would you like to exercise with me? Yes, I like exercise with you. Okay. Yeah, completed. <laughs> Finish, teacher. Yeah. <laughs> Great job. Congratulations. Uh, uh, okay, so we go back in a moment. Uh, this Friday, I go to the I go to the mountain. And would you would you go with me? Yes, I like go to the mountain. Uh, teacher, I finished the three questions. Okay, the Forma. invitations. Okay. Yeah. Did, you, did you accept or refuse the invitations? Uh, the same because the first I I tell I see I want to go. And later I 
ask. Okay. He, he, he con, I don't know, he con, how do you say come, come back to me? Yeah? Uh, come back to me or what? Como, no, en español, right? como que él, si él quiere ir conmigo. Ah, if he wants to go with me. Okay, if sí. he wants to go. Wants to go, to go with me. Yes, he wants to go with you. Ah, okay. Okay, great. Excellent. All right, so I think the time is almost, you know, gone. So we're gonna we're going to go back to the break to this main session. So congratulations for the work done. It's, it was great. See you in the main session. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, well, um, most of our classmates are joining, you know, the main session. And um, I'm very happy because all of us, we could, you know, practice. And also this uh, part of the invitations and also you had the chance to, you know, practice, especially uh, English. That is something important. Let's see, I think all of us were here. Okay, much better. Well, okay, students. Well, for tomorrow, we're going to have a review about the family, the family tree, and also talking about grandparents, great-grandfather, great-grandmother, grandfather, grandmother, the father and mother, and then the family, the relatives. We say in English, like uncle, aunt, cousin, also niece, nephew, sons. So the family tree vocabulary so we'll study a little bit about the family and uh, also i want you to check this material and also learn the names of the relatives or names of the family in english that's that's what we had to do i want to congratulate you for the work done i know that we start this week with the purpose to learn a lot to do our best and all with all, uh, feel happy to communicate. I like when you practice. I like when you communicate, when you like start talking and you combine, you know, the language and maybe in English and in Spanish because it could be a little bit difficult to you. But this is one of the ways that we can learn. We can learn by practicing. That's what we had to do. So I trust that we can do it, that we can make the difference. Okay. Do you have a questions before we finished? No, teacher. Okay. No, thank you. Good night. Good night to everyone. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay. Yeah. Take care a lot. Teacher, teacher, one question. Yes. Y ya pasó asistencia, es que he tenido mala conexión y no he estado presente, pero... Eh, Eric Javier, right? Sí. Yes. Eh, Ventura. Yes. Okay. All right. That's okay. okay. Teacher. Hi. Eh, yo también, bueno, Margarita, sea, fíjense que casi me voy conectando porque de veras que he estado saliendo bien noche del trabajo. Primero Dios, ya del jueves en adelante ya puedo estar a tiempo. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the effort. That's good. Thank you. Okay. Okay, good night, teacher. Good night, good night, good night teacher. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye.